Welcome to my outdoor studio. That was awful. You know, I have always been an outdoor person. Uh, I grew up skateboarding and playing baseball. I've always just preferred being outside. Even with YouTube videos, uh, when people film inside, I get kind of bored and antsy. You know, you've got that 10, 20 minute video of them just sitting right there in that one space talking and talking. It, it feels like you're watching the news. When I film outside, I have all of this space. Like every single angle is a whole new set, so to speak. So instead of sitting in an indoor space and just droning on and on and on, I can actually come out here and just move around. I can keep the scene moving. It just kind of helps the video flow so much better. But of course, the downside of that is you have to bring all of your stuff with you. And for me, it's kind of a lot of stuff. So lately, the bag I've been using is this. This is the Jumper Camera Backpack by Brevity. This bag just really works for me. Uh, I've been really happy with it. The other thing I like too is it's not just the plain old boring black backpack that you see so often made out of that nylon material or whatever that is. The Brevity bag actually comes in a bunch of different colors and it's made out of this sort of unique kind of waterproof canvas, which I don't know, it's just different and I like it a lot. Well, the most obvious thing in my camera bag is this camera right here, which I'm filming the videos with. This is a Sony ZV-E10 with a Samyang 12 mm f2.0 lens. Uh, it's the newer lens. It's not that manual focus one. It's the one with autofocus. Autofocus on this lens is pretty good, but it's not quite on par with like, say, Viltrox or Sigma in terms of like nailing Sony's algorithm, but it's still solid. Like I haven't really had any trouble with it. The other obvious thing in this camera bag is this camera right here, the Olympus EM1 Mark II. Currently have the EM1 Mark II with a 17 millimeter f1.8 Olympus lens. Um, these two cameras right here have basically been my entire YouTube channel for all of 2022. The first half of the year leaned more towards the Olympus EM1 Mark II. That was kind of the main camera. And then ever since July, I've been using the Sony ZV-E10. Both of these cameras just have what I need. You know, they've got an articulating screen. They have a mic input. They do 4K that looks good. They've got good image stabilization. Uh, I've been really happy with these. Having said that, you know, I, I switch it up all the time just because I get bored. Like as a camera collector, I just like to use different things. So I don't really stick to any one particular system because I've got like multiple cameras from every system. So a lot of times it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. Now, in terms of lenses, I have the obvious lenses that are on the cameras and those actually stay on the cameras in the bag because there's plenty of room. As far as extra lenses go, I do tend to bring this Viltrox 50 millimeter F1 uh, I absolutely love this lens. This lens is any of the shots that are like not wide angle shots, they probably come from this 50 millimeter lens. Uh, this is something that actually gets a lot of use. I just like the way that uh, it renders the background. It looks genuinely good. The other lens that's always with me, this Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4. This is more in like the medium range. I do a lot of talking segments with this just where, cause I like to like change up the look so that it's not just the same exact wide angle shot. I actually carry the Sigma in the case that came with the Samyang. They're the perfect fit. Uh, here's the lens itself. You know, here's the lens itself. You're probably very familiar with this lens, popular lens. Uh, the autofocus is absolutely amazing on this lens and it's incredibly sharp. I like this lens a lot. Now, in terms of accessories as an outdoor YouTuber, uh, I always have to have wireless mics. Up until now, I'd been using these little Boya microphones, which are great. They work great. And then recently I switched over to these Comica Vimo C. Um, these just came out on Monday. I've been using these for about a month, but I had to try to hide them in every video because they weren't released yet. They were still under NDA, but yeah. 
I can finally show these on camera. I do like these mics a lot because they have like a safety track too, which I think is super cool. Like anytime your audio clips, this will, you know, you've got that secondary track that's sort of much quieter. The other thing I like about these Comica mics is they come in this little charging case. Um, oh, and it's a two pack. It's two transmitters instead of just one. The, the charge is so good on these mics. I haven't charged them yet. You know, they sent me these from like Hong Kong uh, back in November. I took these right out of the box and started using them. I have not plugged them into a charger yet. You know, they're still totally charged. So that's a big plus for these. Plus, I like the way they sound. Now, another super important essential for when you film outside is lighting. I have tons of these little lights by WeLight. Uh, this particular one is WeLight SO5. These little lights are CCT and RGB. Um, I use these a lot for like B-roll of cameras and also for thumbnails. Like if you look at that thumbnail from the most recent Viltrox Cinema Lens video, that lighting is like from this little WeLight SO5. Also, because there is a ton of space in this bag. Hold on, let me show you guys this. You have these little pockets up in here in this part of the bag, which is perfect space for these little WeLight SO3s. I actually use these lights a lot too. Um, just like the SO5, uh, they're both CCT and RGB. The only difference with these lights is they don't have any physical buttons. Aside from that power button right there, there's no buttons on these lights, so they're app controlled only. That's why a lot of times I will use the uh, bigger WeLight SO5 just because I don't have to connect to the app. I can just click on those physical buttons. But either way, all of these work great. Uh, another thing that I always have with me is some form of action camera. Over here in this pocket, I've got an Insta360 X3. That's a little sleeve that it comes in. I love this camera. I keep meaning to use this more in these YouTube videos, but so far, I don't think any of this footage has ever made it into a YouTube video. I've used it a lot for like Instagram Reels and TikTok. I do post these videos from time to time on there, but mostly, this ends up in like Instagram stories or reels. Um, I've gotten so much really good footage with this and I wanna make a whole video about this because when I was searching for this, all of the videos that I kept seeing, the colors look really gross in people's footage, but I realized they're just shooting in the actual like standard picture profile or the vibrant picture profile and it looked terrible. It was way too saturated and contrasty and had all that digital sharpening. I started filming with this in log profile and then color grading it and the footage actually looks really good on this thing. Oh, and of course you have to have the invisible selfie stick for the S3. I actually keep it up here in this top part of the bag. This is technically like a laptop compartment, but it fits the selfie stick perfectly. The other accessory that I always have with me is some form of GoPro. Uh, I just love action cameras. And so I've got enough space here where I actually keep the GoPro in this little top section. Uh, currently still using the GoPro Hero 9. Biggest thing for me is I found these little like magnetic mounts for action cameras on Amazon. These things work so well. I mean, you can stick it to the side of your refrigerator, to the side of the car. Uh, well, a lot of times when I'm at the gym and I'm like filming my workout just to see what I'm doing, stick it on the machines and it just works like it doesn't slip or fall or anything. That little thing has been such a game changer that I ended up buying like three more of these. So I just have them for like a bunch of different cameras. The other thing that I like about this little mount is it's actually sturdy enough for smaller mirrorless cameras. Uh, I'll use the Sony ZV-E10 on this a lot too, and it works great, like no problem whatsoever. If you have action cameras or just small mirrorless cameras, I can't recommend these things enough. These are so genuinely cool. Uh, this particular brand is U-Rig. I don't know, never heard of them. Uh, that's the one that I'm currently using. Plus, because the build quality is good, it's all metal too. Um, anyway super happy with these. There's also more room in this bag that I use just for miscellaneous like cables and bits and pieces like that. Uh, so you've got in here where I keep the GoPro. There's actually this whole other section right here where you can fit all sorts of things. Like I currently have, uh, I actually have a small shotgun microphone. This thing is absolutely amazing by the way, this little seven rhymes mic. Whenever I'm not wearing a wireless mic, this is what's on the camera, just cause it's tiny. I mean, 
for point of reference, look at my hand compared to that. Like this thing is incredibly small. And of course I just have the cables that go with it too. All of these stashed away right here. That's a big part of why I've been using this brevity bag is it's not that big of a bag, but then there's so much space inside where it almost feels paradoxical. You know, it's like when I was a kid, I would see those Bugs Bunny cartoons where he goes to a tent in the middle of the desert and it just looks like a small camping tent like van lifers would use when they're in some national park that you've never been to. Uh, at least I've never been to. Um, Kara and Nate have probably been there. But, um, you know, it's a small tent and then he walks in and it's like the size of the Taj Mahal and it's just rooms after rooms after rooms and it's super huge. That's what this bag feels like. It's like, it doesn't look that big from the outside, but then when you're on the inside, it's, there's actually just tons of space and it fits everything that I actually need for making these outdoor YouTube videos. Uh, anyway, I just wanna try something fun and different for this week's video. Camera views are great, but every now and then you need a break. So I think that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.